All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Fallout New Vegas Part 58. And I'm excited today for sure because we are at Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters, and we have found Festus. There's a there's an enemy on my compass. I didn't notice that the first time. All right, we've heard this. Pleased to meet you. New in town, partner? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below when I'll count them up. If you don't know what sunset sarsaparilla stars are, and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say, star... Well, you know I want to hear what he says about it. I'll do that too. Silly old advisory. Silly old advisory. <laughs> Silly old advisory. I'm sorry. I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? It's not going to say anything. Well, since oh, okay. There it is. We have ingested excessive amounts. Okay. Nausea. Uh-huh. Digital numbness. Okay. Anxiety. Mmm. Loss of visual acuity. Dizziness. Occasional nosebleeds. Oh my god. Yo, we're in trouble. We drink a lot. That one was expected. Sore throat. Bronchitis. Bronch. Organ rupture. Organ rupture? I don't know what that is. Organ well, rupture? You have to drink a heap of sunset sarsaparilla to match the quantities used in the study. <laughs> How much, you ask? A lot. A whole hell of a lot. In fact, you'd have to get full as a tick on sunset sarsaparilla to even come close. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. So who was the test subject that showed that? Sunset sarsaparilla. Okay. I'm gonna say st uh, uh, I feel lucky. If this is your first rodeo with the old horseshoes, say, how do I play? Multiplies, say, <laughs> This is so unique. To begin. How do I play? Lucky horseshoes is played with cards number two through ten and aces, which have a value of one. You and old Festus will take turns drawing cards. Each time we draw a card, So it's blackjack, but we... If either of us draws a card that brings our total up to the same number as the other, it pushes the other player's total up one. When this happens, it's called Lucky Horseshoes. Old Festus thought of the name himself, I'll have you know. Uh-huh, you're a robot, though. When one of us is closer to 21 and the other can't get any closer, either by going over or because he or she held, the closer player wins. Okay. Old Festus likes the game, because there are no ties. Yeah, you can bump them off on 21. Even if they hit blackjack, so to speak, you can still beat them. Alright, we'll play it once. Whatever. Sure. I feel lucky. Lucky horseshoes. <laughs> Yeller. All right, drop. Looks like you got a three, partner. All right. Yeah, you're doing well, but old Festus ain't out of this yet. I'm literally at three. Old Festus is gonna draw. Looks like I got three a three to nine. That's a good number for him. See that? Old Festus is an old hand at this. Your turn, partner. Draw, hold, or quit. I'm trusting my luck. Draw. Looks like you got a three. Okay, partner. we're at six. Alright, give him like an 8 here. Nice! That's 17! He'll stay there. He'll stay on 17. Right? No way he goes higher than 17. 
Draw. Okay, I'm at nine. Uh huh. Sure. If I hit a nine or a ten here, we win. Give me a nine or a ten. Boom! Game over. Oh, we get a reward. Let's go. I bet our luck was good there. Six of clubs, Gamora added. Sure. <laughs> I'm done. That's too bad. Old Festus was looking forward to a good tussle. Uh huh. All right, tell me about the star info. I'm ready now. Howdy, partner. Star info. Ah, oh, new to the hunt, are you? Well, listen carefully, as Old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select sunset sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Uh-huh. Why are these stars there? And what do they mean? <laughs> Nobody knows. Except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Rustle up enough of them and you can win a prize. So get out there and start drinking Sunset Sarsaparilla. All right. How many do I need? A hundred? I got 68. Welcome the Legend the of the Star. With enough Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Cups caps to win a prize. Yeah. Otherwise, say, pleased to meet you, and we'll get acquainted. Yeah, yeah, we've heard all this. So, deposit my stars into the slot. How many I got? Woohoo! 50 removed. What? An 18 normal caps added? What? I suppose you'll be wanting that prize. It was 50? That's it? That's easy. No, dude. And now, without further ado, your prize. The legend of the I've been star. scammed. Scammed. People have died for these caps. People didn't have a heap of choices when it came to soft drinks. It was either water or nuka. Water's not a soft drink, but okay. Now, the threat of legal action forces me to say that nuka cola is a swell baby. <laughs> of course. Uh huh. So one day, a man, a saloon owner in a small town, decided to make a new type of soft drink and asked his patrons what flavor they'd like it to be. After getting no help from them, a stranger at the end of the bar suggested the man make a sarsaparilla flavored drink. The stranger said he would happily share his family's recipe for the drink on one condition. The condition being that the stranger would be allowed to sample the bottle whenever he liked to ensure the recipe was being followed to the So this man just had a recipe for this? Happily agreed, thinking the drink would make him rich, and the stranger promised to meet him by sundown the next day. The next morning, the sheriff stopped by and reported that the stranger's body was found on the side of the town road. Uh-huh. So someone killed the guy and then just gave him the recipe anyway? The saloon owner paid for the stranger's funeral, thinking it was the least he could do to repay him. No, wait, he killed the guy. The went on to become rich selling the new drink. Uh-huh. And to this day, some bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla have a blue star under their caps. Pretty sure he killed the guy and then took the recipe himself and then said that's what happened. Gross. <laughs> and that's the legend of the storm. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you continue enjoying Sunset Sarsaparilla. 
No way that's the whole prize. Quest failed, Legend of the Star, that's some bullshit! <laughs> no way! Uh, that, what the hell, where's the real prize? The Sotsuksas Barilla Company has received a number of complaints regarding the prize awarded for handing in Sotsuksas Barilla Stars. Therefore, yeah, I bet. we have seen fit to provide another prize that we feel will placate the most discriminating customer. Good. Okay. The Sunset Sarsaparilla Company would once again like to thank you for your patronage. If this was Vault Tech, they would be sending me down a hallway to die. Quest added a valuable lesson. So the valuable lesson is that not to trust everything you hear, because sometimes it's just going to be some garbage. But we're not going left right away. We got a couple directions we can go here. Let's explore this headquarters properly. The dead Protectron. Broken shipping worker. I'm assuming that's what we've... I'm assuming those are the red markers on our desk, on our compass, and what we've been hearing moving around. BB... Yeah, the BB gun's out of ammo. Uh, I'm gonna miss it. Good night, sweet prince. Okay, that was excessive. What a good game. I'm in it. I... I'm... I definitely can believe that they just tried to make that the prize. In the Fallout universe, being greedy as hell is like the play, right? Watch, th this prize is going to be the absolute bare minimum. Like, it's gonna be like, yeah, it's something physical or something to like... There, you have your prize, but it's not gonna be worth jack. Average terminal gladiator. Convinces... Cons no, not consistent. Illnesses? There it is. It wasn't a cun word, because Convinces had three of the starting letters, but only two out of nine fit. Check mail. Water leak. <clears throat> Clark Weathers, VP of Operations, Subject Water Leak. Body, just letting you guys know we've had reports of a possible small water leak in the upstairs meeting room. The long-term effects of water damage can be very, very expensive, so let's get this problem solved before it gets any worse, shall we? Great job. From Kenneth Aguilar, President, great job. I wanted to personally congratulate you on the success of the new automated janitorial system. In particular, number 135 has proven very popular with the staff. I can't tell you how many complaints I used to hear about spray, stray bottle caps getting into the machinery. Oh, and we should have a meeting soon concerning the rest of your staff. How's Tuesday? Oh, this man's getting promoted out here. Maintenance system. Activate. Oh, let's activate the worker after we're sure it's clear. I don't know what this guy's supposed to be doing exactly, but... I can't believe it. The, and all of our star bottle caps are gone. Like, we can't even tell that they're star bottle caps anymore. Wow. It just gave us 18 extra bottle caps to compensate us. <laughs> of course. Learning lesson, huh? Of course. Alright, I guess we don't need the AER. I'll sell it to somebody so it's in their inventory later if I need it. Gotta be something else we could sell here. A flamer, yeah, duh. Buy flamer. Heavy and not worth it in general. A uh, very dreary meeting. Uh, I mean, a very dreary uh, break room. That's the word I was looking for. Break. Excuse me, Lily. Pardon me. Thank you. Ooh, free more money. Who's throwing money in the trash can? I just realized I probably didn't open this one door directly across from the other door. Oh, I did. I just didn't go in. I was like, that's too much, and turned around. Right outside here. Oh, upstairs. Got it. It's going to be one of those buildings where there's fallen walls like this, and we can climb up them to get to the second floor instead of having a loading screen. That's smart. Oh my god, ammo. Get your ammo and your American desks here, at work. Is there also like an assembly line in Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters? How wild would that be? And what exactly do people do at Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters when this place was actually open? Anyone want to explain that one to me? How do they keep busy? What do they do? 
other than marketing. I'm assuming this is all marketing. Annual sales report. Our performance in the East continues to improve thanks to the new Build Mass with SAS campaign. <laughs> so get fat off Sunset Sarsaparilla. Perfect. The Northeast continues to be a tough nut to crack and continued slow growth is expected. Things are shaping up in the North and Midwest and the leaders of those teams are to be commended. As usual, performance in the Southwest is strong. Overall, this has been a banner year for Sunset Sarsaparilla and you should all be proud of yourselves. Yay! Actual good news in the world of Fallout. We love it. That's so rare. That is not comp those compliments you do not find easy in this world. All right, I want to stay on the first floor until we're finished on the first floor. You know, there are so many sunset sarsaparillas on the ground. These people must have been sh knocking them back left and right. Bottling robot is innocent. Don't harm the bottling robots. They are not at fault. There's gonna be so many sunset sarsaparillas here. We don't need flamer fuel. These are full sunset sarsaparillas, okay. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be really heavy. I'm gonna have to drop more, like, unvalu- not valuable ammo, I guess. Electron charge packs, we can drop. 9mm rounds, we can drop. 357. 22s. 556s, 5 millimeters, energy cells except for a dozen for the pulse gun, and 10 millimeter. There we go. That'll get rid of a lot of weight. And now we're about to fill it back up with Sunset Sarsaparilla. I'm gonna drink all of them for that, so I can get organ rupture. And bottle caps. Don't forget the bottle caps. There's actually like Sunset Sarsaparilla in all these crates. Oh no. Why are there so many empty ones, too? Oh, no! We're about to get so dehydrated drinking these, I'm gonna have to drink purified water afterwards. How many do we have? 62? Just knock them back! The star bottle caps don't do anything anymore. Why did you even notify me of that? We found two. Now sick of minor dehydration? Yeah, I bet. This is now a free fire zone. This is now a free fire zone. Another, that's three star bottle caps. Thank you. What? No! We got in trouble by the security and they, act they activated these, I guess? Sorry, bottling robot, you don't deserve this. Rest in pieces. Damn. Alright, well, that happened. Now are they still bottle caps or did they get turned into caps? Well, they're giving us star bottle caps again. What? Then I want my other 18 back just so I know how, how much overkill I am. Now for the rest of the game, we're going to know. I have, thir I have 18 extra... Or I should have 18 more star bottle caps than I do. Whoops, I took an empty one. There you go. But typo, you already have enough. Stop it. No, they're worth a cap each and I get to glug soda. I must do it. I must. I must do it. For the people. Yeah! <laughs> and two more waters and then we're good. We're good. We're gonna piss. We're gonna go to the restroom so much. It's gonna be insane. Okay, here's a bunch of empty ones. We don't have to take these. They don't need a home in our stomach. They're all good. Yeah, alright. I'm not checking all those. They're obviously empty. No, I just took energy cells. Damn it. It's just such a habit to grab ammo, you know? Just because ammo is usually worth enough to justify the, the weight, but... Not lately. Not lately. 24 bottle caps. Thanks for coming, Chief. Alright, and here's where we could have came up. Got it. So it's all connected now. 
There was... It's all conjoined. We're not missing anything. There's rarely anything in those, and I still check them anyway. I just hit the back button on my mouse. If this was an online game, I would have just hit the back button. Like a browser game. Whoops. But we're not, so we're good. Thank you for the bottle caps. Again, I'm not sure what that janitor thing is going to be for, but I want to make sure everything's dead before I activate it. I know, someone was hiding a Nuka-Cola behind their desk. Scandalous. <laughs> Scandal. How could you? Okay, the first floor on this side is probably where the, uh, the second prize is. Which is going to be like, what? A dollar with a star on it? So they can be like, hey look, it's got real value. It's got a, it's a dollar. Don't you want a dollar? Or a collectible bottle that's only collectible because they say it's collectible. Something is going to be garbage here. There's no way they're actually giving us something worthwhile. That's just, that's not their way. And by they, I mean the people of the Fallout universe. <laughs> Greedy bastards, all of them. God, I picked those up when I didn't need to. I gotta break that habit. I'm picking up things that I just don't need. We're carrying enough. And I know we can put them on Lily. I get that. I get that. But I forget a lot, okay? I should be putting these things on Lily. She could probably carry a lot. In fact, I haven't even thought about that in a while. I'm going to start putting everything on Lily. Just grab it. Grab everything. I'm not going back for the stuff I dropped, but you know what? I forgot about Lily. And we can just put everything on her. Everything's good. We're going to be fine. More Nuka Cola. That is scandalous, guys. So scandalous. I'm sure this meets up with how we would have normally gotten he oh, well now I'm not feeling like it is. Oh shoot. Can I get back up this way? I can, good. Kind of. Fallout jumping is really mediocre, but okay, good. Alright, so where did this staircase go? Hello? Very hard, it says. Now, hold up. If I can get to the other side of it without needing to use my only locksmith reader, that would be ideal. So, let's see if we can pull it off. Also, there's a safe here I didn't even crack. What am I doing? Lockpick skill 97. Do I really need a locksmith reader? I bet I could pop a Mentats or something and that would be enough. Let me see. Okay, there's something over there I can only reach with that very hard. Okay. Sunset Sarsaparilla Deputy Badge. 149 caps. 135 caps. 122 caps. Nice. That, that would not have been a prize back in the day, but here, now in today's age, it is. Yes. Bunch of bottle caps. Score. Oh. Alan Marks. Uh, that's the guy. What's his face told us about? Who had killed people for it? I guess that's the valuable lesson we were supposed to learn. That Alan Marks died coming for this big prize. What do you have here? Let's I guess this listen, I guess. Not much air left now. Minutes, maybe. And this is what I have to show for it. He got locked in? Just the jokes. On me. Probably shouldn't have killed all those people. Probably should have stayed at home and taken care of my ma. She always used to say people who murder and steal die bad in the end. Said they. Rest in peace, Alan Marks. Pew pew. Thank you kindly, Alan Marks. He got his... Is it really the deputy... It was the deputy badge. And look how many there are. And they just process these little things. Fuck it, I'm taking one. I earned it, damn it. But this is still stupid. How do I drag it? There it is. Oh my god, there's just more. Jesus. And he got locked in here somehow? Yo, that's tough. 
But yeah, you murdered people, so you had it coming. Says Nova. An even bigger murderer. Is this a computer I could have used? It is. Maybe it'll open that door below me. Desk. Dogs. There it is. What an interesting journey this has been. This is not what I expected from the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters at all. I need to look at what Pew Pew does. What am I doing? Check saved inbox messages. What contest? Nathan Stanley, director, director of PR, what contest? Sir, the rumors of some sort of contest are quickly growing out of control. We're getting flooded with calls and messages asking if it's true we're redeeming bottle caps for prizes. Do you want me to make an official statement denouncing this rumor? Lucas Nash, VP of Sales, Rob Co Co Corp. How do you like your new toy? Kenneth, I hope you've been impressed thus far with your recent purchase. Your company has been, been and continues to be a valued customer. Contact me if you have any questions. What contest? Stanley, are you out of your mind? Have you seen the latest sales figures? We're up 300% since those rumors started, and you're asking if I want you to make it stop? Please stop by my office so we can further discuss the issue. <laughs> so there wasn't, and then they just made it, while the iron is hot. Marcus, I have a few ideas about how we can turn this whole contest situation to our advantage. I'm going to need you to work with the advertising guys on a very special project. A meeting request will be sent out soon. By the way, how do you feel about cowboys? So they made Festus, yeah. How do you like your new toy? Lucas, I couldn't be happier with the performance of the new model. If its current performance is any measure, it promises to reinvent my company's entire distribution network. I'd like to tentatively discuss purchasing a few more in the near future. How soon do you expect more to become available? What new toy, though? I don't know what toy. Hey, we got the 25 out of 25 hack computers. Alright, let me try a Mentat. See if that can get us up to 100 lockpicking. Because we're already at 97. That's pretty close. All right, Pew Pew, what do you got? Oh my goodness. 57, 172? One strength, zero energy weapon skill for energy cells. Is that real? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. All... This requires very hard. What? Wait a second. Why... Give me all this. Why is that so good? That's the real... Whoops. That's the real prize that we're here for. The Pew Pew Gun. 57172 for energy cells, and it has no skill requirement. If it wasn't for the fact you need 50 star caps, you could just show up with a new character and have an absolutely busted gun. Off the rip. Did he have energy cells on him? Now I want him. All of a sudden, I really want energy cells, even though I've been dropping them all game. Wow. I had no idea I was going to find something that was so good. You know what I mean? Because this gun's about to run out of ammo. My BB gun's out of ammo, which means Pew Pew is probably going to replace it when we don't need to be using the Gobi and AMR because the enemies don't deserve it. Pew Pew will be our new uh, trash-killing weapon. All right, back to this. Sorry, I got way distracted by that. Uh, Mentats. Give us perception, correct? Two perception? Lockpick 99? You're kidding me here, Chief. Anything that gives me more Daniel's hat perception? Still 99. You can't do this to me, man. I only have one locksmith reader. Don't do this to me! <laughs> I need to know what's behind here. I'm going to use it if I don't have any other choice. That's the truth. Oh, God dang it. We're going to miss it by one. By one. I can't believe it. Ugh. No, none of that helps. Wow. Wow. What if I wear Daniel's outfit? Oh, these both give plus one perception. That's why it wasn't helping. I need a perception outfit, then. <laughs> Come on, 99, guys. <laughs> I'm crying on the inside. All right. Bye, locksmith reader. 
damn it. Our only one. And this is gonna have nothing valuable behind it. You watch. We're gonna break our third lockpick. Yep, yeah, we did. Alright, three lockpicks down. <sighs> this better be worth so much. So far, I'm... Oh, don't do this to me. There's no way this information is that important. Automated messages. Uh, HDY074 reports a servo failure. Reports all systems okay. Okay, it's a bunch of system stuff. Bunch of stuff. Intruder, major structural damage. Major structural damage. Intruder has been injured. No way this is what I... No way this is what I spent my locksmith reader on. This has got to be... No. 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 Learning lessons, I've been scammed. No! There's nothing here of value at all. You're kidding me. I, got, I gotta read it again. There's... I, I gotta be missing something. No. No. Line malfunction, oil maintenance, all systems okay, weapon okay, weapon okay. Oh, these are all the different robots. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I'm so upset. What a waste of my locksmith reader. Damn it, man. Just goes to show it's not worth it sometimes. Oh, God. Well, let's go turn on the janitor, janitor, see if anything happens now that everything's dead. Oh, turn it on over here. Activate the worker. Minor garbage collection. Go ahead. I see my services. Is it required once more? It's about time. Yeah. So what, do you, what are we doing? Oh my, this place is filthy. Yes, it is. There goes Locksmith's Reader. I'm crying on the inside right now, for real. A short while, uh huh. What if I try to talk to you? Okay, he's just activated, I guess. Maybe we'll come back one day and find out what's going on. Why would you put those up there? Really? Someone should have called me earlier. Is he going to do anything? Lily, you're in the way. Are, are you going to do anything? I got to know. I got to know before we go. Uh, if this ends up being nothing, then... Um, if this ends up being nothing, then I'll see you soon. Hostile target. Oh! Detected. Oh! There was a whole room I hadn't opened yet. What am I doing? I got I got caught up in other things. My bad. Energy cells, though. Hey. All of a sudden, I'm loving them. Mr. Janitor, make it happen, man. Bunch of empty bottles in here. Okay. What is he doing exactly? Oh my god, look at the amount of crates over here. They better all be empty. Yeah, I think they're all empty. These are like unused crates for making more Sunset Sarsaparilla. Yeah, you tell him, Mr. Janitor. <laughs> what have these savages been doing here? Whoops, I took a clipboard. 
What? Clipboard. There you go. Average terminal ruthless. Uh, dictates. Yeah, that worked. Check message. I'll apologize up front if there are any mistakes in this message. I'm trying to, a new dict dictation headset. Margie, the boss... Oh, so, so it types for them. That's why the typing is always correct. Okay. Margie, the boss man just ordered some kind of newfangled robot that's supposed to take over some of your deliveries. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but you should hear about it soon. I'll write it again when I know more. Do not pass this along. Check draft. We've got trouble. That hush-hush experimental robot I told you about the other day? The damn thing is single-handedly running all of our distribution in the Vegas area now. Your boys aren't on temporary leave. It's permanent. Damn, the president wants to see me in his office. I'll finish this later. Fired. You're fired! Because robots can do it better. Not because you did anything wrong. That's tough. Okay. I don't think Mr. Janitor is going to do anything. And these are all empty crates. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lily, you alright? That was something I just witnessed. What happened to Oh Baby? You didn't lose it, did you? Can't help but notice you're using your sword. Grandma's got a present for you. Well, there goes Oh Baby, I guess. What happened to Oh Baby, Lily? Did she drop it somewhere? What happened to Oh Baby? Let me know if that's a bug. <laughs> uh, or if that's just something that happens. Because if it's a bug, I'm going to try to fix it. But if it's just something that happens, I guess we lost that item for good. Whoops. I guess. Alright, I guess we're headed out. Well, that was an interesting journey. And I'm only crying about the locksmith's reader. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. So it looks like next up is Vault 3, probably. Probably Vault 3. So that's what we'll do next time. That was that was interesting. Very interesting. Lily, what happened to Oh Baby? I don't understand. Let me know if that was a bug or not, guys. Alright. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much. For joining Nova, Lily, and myself on this journey. And we will see all of you very soon. I'll see all of you. You know, this was so buttery smooth. <laughs> what am I doing? Next time. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs>